Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back to the um, channel. Today what we're unboxing, well it's not really an unboxing, it's unbagging, um, is this thing here. Now you might be wondering what the hell is this thing. This is the laptop I teased in the last video. This is a, should be inside this bag, a Dell Latitude D600. The reason why is because this is my candidate for a Windows 98 gaming laptop. Um, some of the specs that are inside it really do sort of like make sense for Windows 98. Um, I'll just run them down now. It has 512 megawatts of RAM. It has a Pentium M CPU. You had uh, you had other two options. You could have a Pentium M or a Intel Centrino. The Centrino is also in it now, but we can downgrade it to the Pentium M. Um, other things it has, it hasn't. This is what makes it the uh, candidate for the Windows 98 gaming stuff. Radeon R9000 graphics. Original ATI tech inside this. So this should be basically should basically destroy Windows 98 games. Um, it is one of the lower end cards that ATI made but still it's integrated graphics and it can go up to 64 megabytes so this should be pretty damn amazing. Now this machine well, um, I actually won this machine in an auction um, online, so I'm expecting a few pieces to be missing, but that's about that can be uh, absolved. So it shouldn't be that bad. Let's just cut for it. As you can see, and this thing does have a big honking sticker on it. Uh, I think a woman owned, owned this before me, so yeah. I'm not really too worried because I, as I mentioned in the last video I was going to spray paint this thing white which I am still doing um, so yeah so there should be a charger in this box as well don't really need the charger because I've got the, D the D630 which is the same type of charger so it shouldn't be too bad um, yeah okay so first impressions it is fairly hefty which is a good thing, um, not a bad thing. Um, the fact that a laptop has a bit of weight is a good thing. Um, it makes it so it's more sort of like um, it's more nice to hold. You know what I mean? It has uh, more heft to it. And there's the charger. Uh, yes, exactly. Same, same as the one I've got on my foot now. So. We will not be opening that because that thing looks gross. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get ready to open this thing. Get rid of this thing for out of the way. So now, um, these laptops are mainly comprised of uh, magnesium and uh, I think a little bit of steel. That's why they have the um, weird colouring they do. I think. Uh, that's what I've read on the product page for. The uh, D630 anyway. So the uh, the production value is the same for this machine. Oh my god, that sticker! Yep, that is definitely being removed in a time sooner rather than later. Okay, now we've got the D600 here. We'll just go around go around the uh, entire computer. So at the bottom, you can see we've got a battery. Uh, does the battery have any charge? No, completely dead. Um, I wouldn't expect anything else less than that. We've got the uh, standard standard hot swap uh, disk drive, all that stuff. Um, batteries are done on the camera, which is fun. Uh, we've got TV out, which is, um, I think it's directly linked to the graphics card. Uh, we've got USB, um, all the other stuff. We've got VGA, serial, uh, parallel ATA, parallel ATA, um, what's it called? Um, I can't remember. Parallel, that's it. Parallel. And on the other side, we've got we've got a PC MCIA slot and the hard drive slot. Now this machine did not come with a hard drive, so it shouldn't be too bad. And the fan was gummed up, so um, yeah. I'll probably got to power this up in another video because I don't really want to. Oh, she looks nice. Okay, we'll remove that. The other way. Why, why, why did you put a screen protector on it? An iPad screen protector, nevertheless. 
Okay, um, yeah, that's what she looks like. Um, as you can see, you've got the uh, classic sort of checklist style keyboard, you've got the track point nub uh, trackpad. Um, yeah, this is the one with the Centrino, so we're going to have to downgrade it, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal with these laptops, so very easy to take apart. So, um, yeah, next video is going to be us upgrading this machine, and I'm really excited for this because if this can do Windows 98 games as well as I think it can, it's going to be sick. So, uh, yeah, guys. Um, I'll rather quick unboxing, but um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video and we'll get this thing running and uh, tested. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so this thing's get. Okay, so this thing's getting pulled off right now. Um, the seller did mention that there were some scratches on the back. I can deal with scratches, but not a big freaking sticker. We're going to rip this thing off because it is. Oh my god, is it bad? It hasn't left any adhesive, so that's good. At least these stickers that don't, don't leave adhesive. Um, I'm probably going to set you down like this, so I can get more punch on it. I'll peel the entire thing off the knob. Yeah, there are some uh, service tags. I don't see any scratches, so I, I, I don't get what she was on about. It is lifting some of the paint, but um, I don't think it's that bad. Considering Another reason why I bought this machine in particular, there are bigger laptops that do have uh, ATI integrated graphics and NVIDIA integrated graphics. Problem is, they're very sort of like um, weirdly designed machines. There was one from Acer I found, which uh, was tempting, but um, the aftermarket parts scene for this thing is uh, incredible. So uh, yeah, that's why I went with this one and um, Plus, the parts are really easy to find for this. If I was trying to find stuff for that Acer machine, I'd probably run the difficulty. I don't know if I would, but um, it's better off not to take a risk. So, um, we'll pull this rest of this sticker off. It is peeling some of the paint, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I might put you in a tripod. No, I'll just leave you like this. I'll just pull the rest of the thing off. Yeah, it's peeling some paint, but I don't really mind because it's going to be spray painted white at the end of the day. I don't think it really matters. And there we go, agreed just sticker removed. Um, yeah, there is a, there are higher, higher models of different labs which you can buy. This is just the easiest to find and the easiest to find parts for. So that's why I went with it. Um, also, the other things is I know for a fact. This does run Windows 98. I've seen a few videos and a lot of people running it, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, so yeah, that was just a quick update to remove that sticker, and now we can get to testing, and that will be the next video, and I'll see you guys in a second.